Right, so I thought I'd do a really quick video on just general clean down of your surfaces after uh, after and before use as well. So in our lab, we we clean down after we use. Um, in between every Presto that we open, we clean down surfaces, um, clean down the sealer. Basically assume that every time you bring something to this surface, that it's filthy. Um, so not only do we clean down at the end, we assume that the last person didn't clean down at all as well. So. That way we cover our bases, um, you know, as we work in front of a, uh, in front of the flow hood. Obviously, I've got the flow hood off at the moment. Um, you know, normally we run it for about ten minutes just to dislodge any um, any particles or any bits that might have got into uh, into the filter or just settled in there while it's been off. Not that it's um, it's off that often. Um, so surfaces are pretty, you know, they've just been used. Uh, I've just been doing some bags here, so there's little bits of kind of CVG and crap all over the place. Um, I just want to show you kind of like the method that we use to in between clean down. Um, so we do use we use seventy percent isopropyl at the beginning of the day. Um, I normally do uh, I'll use bleach on the surface just to um, kind of get like a base clean for the day, uh, and then we use like seventy percent isopropyl to um, just to kind of just for general cleaning purposes as we're working. Uh, the reason we use seventy percent and not ninety nine percent is um, you do want uh, that sort of um, uh, the time that the, uh, the ISO remains liquid, you don't want it to evaporate too quickly, otherwise it won't um, destroy the cell walls of uh, uh, of certain spores and bacteria that we're looking to you know to get rid of during our clean. Um, so the way we kind of do things is every time we bring a new uh, a Presto or anything, we'll start unloading bags. We do a clean down in between. So I'll show you how we do that. One thing we don't do, we don't ever spray towards the the filter so if I'm cleaning down my hands while we're working I'll spray away from the filter I'll wipe my hands down and then I'll allow them to dry in in the flow so I'm basically saying you know I want I want everything to have evaporated off my hands and it's the same with all the surfaces so when we're wiping down you know we don't want wet isopropyl on things that, that hasn't done its job so what I normally do is I keep a stack of um, folded paper towels and little squares like this. And again, away from the filter, I saturate the, the paper towel. And then I work from top to bottom, back to front. So starting and then with the actual surfaces themselves, I'll literally snake backwards and forwards. So I'll just move this so you can see. Just slowly, you don't want to kind of like go absolutely mad with this. So backwards and forwards, working from the filter backwards. And what that does is it just means, that, I mean, if you're scrubbing in a circular motion, you know, what you're basically doing is moving particles just backwards and forwards throughout the, throughout the uh, uh, across your workspace. And that's it really. Um, you know, now, now we're ready to work. So hope that was helpful. Let me know if you uh, want to see any other videos of me cleaning. I'm sure you fucking do. As always, we're on uh, mycopunks.com. Uh, we're also mycopunks on all the social media things as well. I'm not going to ask you to like and subscribe because, um, uh, you know, that's, you're an adult. You're a grown, you're a grown, well, you might be an adult. You might be like a child or something that's just somehow found themselves to our, you know, found themselves here, which is fucking weird. Bad parenting. <laughs>